Let's implement a full adder. Uh, we've already implemented a half adder. So let's reuse that. And the way you can do it is to simply load the half adder that we just built. And you simply double click. And then there's your half adder lib. And then there's the half adder uh, sub circuit. Let's put in some inputs and outputs. So uh, there are three inputs. There is an A and a B and a carry in. And then for the outputs, there is a sum and there is a carry. Right, so now we we'll uh, need to uh, put in a half adder component. Let's start there. And stick it here. And so our half adder is simply starts with our A and B inputs. And then we get the sum of A and B and then a carry if required. Uh, so now the way the, uh, the way a full adder works is, first of all, either if one of these are true or this one's true, then some should be true. So the if this one or this one is true exclusively, then that's the definition of sum on the half adder. And then if we want to make make it such that if either this is true or this is true, but not both are true, yielding some, then that's implemented with an XOR. So let's put in our XOR. And yeah, we'll leave the sum out there because I may need some room. How does the carry work? The carry can occur uh, one of two ways. Uh, the first way is if either A and B are true and C is true, then that yields a carry. So that's an AND gate. And we'll stick it, we'll stick it here. Uh, and actually, I think I'm going to pull, yeah, I think I'll pull this over. Right, so, and maybe we'll stick this one here and then this one. So. If, if either one of these are true, and this one's true, that's a carry. So that's simply implemented by tapping into those two signals, right? Because the output of the, the half adder, the sum, is either this one or this one being true. Okay, so the other way, so, so this if, if this AND gate's true, then that means our carry out should be true. But there's another condition in which the carry can be true, and that is A and B are true, right? Because that would actually yield a carry as well. So that's another AND gate. And 
And so we will sneak a signal in here. It's a little messy. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that works. Now, either one of these being true will yield a carry. So that is an OR gate. So here's our OR gate. And there's our circuit. Let's test it. Although I think I made these, uh, okay, didn't change these two outputs. I, I forget that a lot of times. Actually, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave this alone. Let's assume that we got really cocky and said, ah, this works, this is great. Let's create our user interface. So let's do that. So we're gonna change this to a unique name. And now let's implement our full adder UI. So what we need is, uh, here we go. Start with a dip switch for our inputs and we need three. And we'll call it ABC and we'll stick the label the other way. Great. Obviously, we need our full adder that we just built, and we'll make it smaller. And we'll hook our inputs up. So this is A, should be A, B, and C. Okay, now we need some outputs. Make some LEDs. So this LED is going to obviously be the sum, and this one will be the carry. This should be the sum, yeah. and then this will be the carry. And then let's test it. Oh, look at that. It doesn't work. Well, why doesn't it work? Well. If you don't set the outputs correctly, it's not going to work. So if you go back over here, and this, it took me, took me a time or two to figure this out. Uh, I was like scratching my head because I was like, this should work fine. Um, so if you go back here, and if you don't flip these to outputs, then obviously it won't work. Okay, so now when I go back over here, there you go. So... So that's A, and this is B, and then obviously if A and B are summed, then that should yield the carry with the sum off. And then, of course, if you add the carry in, that should yield both sum and carry. Now, uh, with the carry on and either A or B, that should yield a carry. So, yep, there's a carry. And then if you just have the carry on, uh, that should yield sum, right, because you're carrying over one and one added to zero should just yield a sum of one. So there you have it. That is our uh, chapter two full adder implementation. Thanks for watching.